This is a new skate called the Rollerblade Lightning. Let's get into it. My initial reaction when I pulled them out of the box was the color. Love the color. I love white skates, especially when they're brand new. They're so fresh. And the second thing that I noticed immediately was the buckle. And that's probably because I think buckles are one of the most crucial components of a skate. These have these really cool memory buckles, which means you only have to adjust it the first time that you ever put them on. All you have to do is you adjust it right here on this side. And then there's three loops on this side when you actually put it on. And then it has this nice metal snap. It also makes putting your skates on really fast and really easy. I like to kind of put my skates on to run quick errands or bop around with my dog. And so I like that it's a really quick and easy buckle. And I also love that it's just really good quality. The Rollerblade Lightning is a new skate, but there was a Rollerblade Lightning, like the original Rollerblade from the 1980s. I don't know if this is modeled around that one or if they just use the same name. So I do really like the name because it makes me feel like I'm on like retro OG 1980s Rollerblades, even though I don't even know if there's a relation other than the name. The Lightning has a little bit of a wider boot compared to some of their other skates like the Twister or the Maxim, which is what I'm used to skating. So this would be a really great skate if you have a wide foot or if you just kind of like the comfort of a wider boot. A really tight, snug fit is going to be more responsive, more high performance. A really, really tight fit, tight squeeze, well, it has more of a break-in period not as comfortable right when you put your foot in it. So I can appreciate the wide boot fit for comfort and you're just getting into rollerblading for recreational fitness. The wider boot is actually a really, really great choice to go with. I love them, I don't wanna take them off. The boot also has this molded ventilation right here, which is really nice for breathability and extra support. So that's a nice feature. The liner is a really nice, it looks like kind of just the rollerblade basic liner. Love them, very comfy. Also kind of has this cool art. It does have eyelids that you can lace all the way up the liner. That's really nice for extra tightness. So it has these nice performance skate insoles. These insoles are great. This is a footboard sizer. This came in the box. This is if you want to make a snugger fit. So you pull the liner out, then you pull the footbed out, then this goes underneath the footbed for the snugger fit. And you'll see on the box it might say like, mine say six, six and a half, yours might say nine, nine and a half. So if you want that nine instead of nine and a half, you'll use the foot sizer. It kind of makes it that half a size smaller and it does make a difference. There's this nice shock absorber. This is a really nice one for extra cushion on your heel, extra support. Usually in the box, it comes with another set of laces that are a different length if you don't want to go up the liner and it comes with different colors. This time it didn't come with any spare laces. One thing I did notice, the cuff bolts don't come off. You can see there's no nowhere to screw them off. So if you wanted to change your cuffs, which is something I never do and don't really care about, but people like Dolphin are obsessed with switching around his cuffs and modding his skate. The bonus of actually not having removable cuffs is you don't have to worry about losing a cuff bolt, which does happen. There's also this slider on the side, which is just really cool. It's kind of funny. Dolphin loves, loves, loves this piece on rollerblades. The first thing he said when he saw these was, oh my gosh, give me your slider bar. And that's because he actually drills them onto his grind shoes for a backslide plate. And so he always wants to pull them off all of my rollerblades. And I did let him take them off some old ones, but I'm not gonna let him have these. I actually always thought that it was just there for aesthetics because it looks really cool. It does protect the boot and help with durability too. The frames are really nice aluminum frames. They're not like riveted on plastic frames that you get on a lot of cheap skates. These are really high quality aluminum frames and they're 243 millimeter frame mount, which is like a very popular frame mounting system, which means that you can change the frames in your skating. So if you ever wanna try different sized wheels or different types of frames, then these do come with the option to change your frames out, which to me is so important. The wheels are Rollerblade brand 85A, 80 millimeter. The 85A makes them 
really cushiony and nice but a little softer than I would prefer in my wheels but it is still it's a great wheel hardness nothing wrong with them I do prefer like the hydrogen wheel that comes on twisters or maxim a little bit harder a little bit more durable more my style 80 millimeters a great wheel size the lightning do also come in a 90 and a 110 but i really like the 80s they're low to the ground really fun to just sort of swirl around great for urban skating the bearings i believe is an abex 7 rating great speed performance and let's be real new bearings always are going to feel really good are great for rec and urban skating at all skill levels but i do also want to add that i think it's the absolute perfect skate for beginner general purpose rollerblading like actually perfect the price point's low compared to more advanced skates like the twister so you don't have to break the bank to try out skating but they aren't so cheap that they're dangerous or miserably painful like some of the real cheap ones out there the hard boot so good for learning because it gives you extra support on your ankle which you need while you're building strength and finding your balance Unfortunately, a lot of beginners end up in a soft boot because they're usually less expensive, but the flex, it's not ideal for beginners learning to skate. In a lot of my videos, I talk about how soft boots feel floppy and always recommend a hard boot. 80 millimeter wheel, I think it's the perfect wheel size for beginners. Not too big and fast like a tri-wheel skate, but also not too small and bumpy. Like a 72 to 76 works good for some more advanced technical moves, but for beginners, I like the smoothness of the 80s. The lightnings, they're perfect for hitting the trails, sidewalk, skate rinks, and also would be great for distance and fitness skating too. Also, since the frame mount's removable, you have the option to explore other skating styles with different frames as you progress and get curious. There's also a heel brake that came in the box for those of you who need extra safety net for stopping. The Lightnings, they're a cute, fun, basic rollerblade, and I'm genuinely excited to spend more time on them myself. So leave a comment if you have any questions. I do my best to answer all my comments. Thanks for listening and watching, subscribing and supporting me. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.